Hi there, I'm Miriam Quagliato and I am a flame painter and I'm just doing this little video to show you what flame painting is. Um, people have been coloring copper with a uh, torch for thousands of years, but until the development of flame painting, the colors have always been very random. Flame painting allows us to choose our colors and our patterns using nothing more than heat for the colors and the patterns. Um, what I'm going to do is start off with a propane flame and as I heat the copper you'll see it turn pretty colors. The colors always happen in the same order and understanding that order allows me to choose my colors for my final flame painting. But for the first step of the procedure I'm going to take it right past all the pretty colors and on up to a steel gray which is the very thickest oxidation that I can possibly get on the metal. The reason I'm doing this is to create a good background for my shapes and patterns. We find that when we start from this very thickest oxidation, we get a choice of about 14 different colors in our palette. Now I'm going to cool it in front of a fan, and while I do, I'm going to readjust my flame. They tell me that the core of my flame there is about 4,000 degrees, but the difference between each of my colors is only about four, uh, 150 to 200 degrees. So because of this, I can cool the metal for approximately a few, you know, less than a minute and still get it cool enough that I can get different colors as I bring the flame back in. So I'm going to use a reduction flame for the next step of the procedure. As I lay this flame, which wants oxygen, up against the metal where I previously stockpiled oxygen, the flame removes the oxygen from the preceding layer of oxidation and takes it right back down almost to the native copper. So basically I'm clearing the area that I want it color, and I'm leaving the rest of it masked to color in a consecutive layer. Now the temperature of the metal causes the colors, but the colors are also affected by how many times we heat the metal and also by what's in the air today. So I usually run a dehumidifier in my shop and sometimes an air purifier is used to help give us more um, predictable results. You can see the colors coming in now. These are the hot colors. I'm going to cool it in front of the fan again. Now, I was um, talking about the different colors and the temperature has to go from the hottest color first and then I'll come in in my next layer using the reduction flame again. I'll create another pattern and then that one will become my mid-heat colors. Okay, so let's allow this reduction flame to have some more of that oxygen. And let's raise the temperature and the oxygen level again. Okay, that pink right there is the very hottest that I can get. Okay, let's put it in front of the fan again. My only way of cooling it is in front of a fan. If I were to dip it into water, then the oxygen in the flame would, I mean, the oxygen in the water would totally erase the colors immediately. Okay. Coming back in here. 